What is the most powerful tool in your teaching toolbox? It's data. Data has transformed the way students are taught and it has fueled the student-centered, personalized learning which is fully guided by the student. I'm Raid here with JobForm. Let's get into it. Properly utilizing your data can help students become active participants in their journey in education. Usually students are only given data in the form of test grades a few times a year. Students are unable to make improvements to their learning with so little information. Now that teachers have more data than ever before, it's much easier to not only share that important data with students, but also for students to see where they can make improvements. Education should not be something that passively happens to a student. They should be fully involved in their learning, and one great way to do this is by sharing data. Dr. Jason Perez, an education professor at the University of Central Oklahoma, warns that when students are left in the dark about their progress in learning, they are unable to own their achievements, which can lead to a lack of motivation in the classroom. When teachers share data with their students, they give students power over their education. Students feel more motivated on their educational journey, which leads to improved learning. This means that students become more engaged with lessons, take responsibility for their learning, and act on the data they have been presented with. Sharing data with students forces them to overcome complacency in their learning. They are made aware of how they are in control of their own learning. With this data, students are able to set goals for themselves and actually work towards them. So the sooner students receive feedback, the more effective it will be. Don't wait too long to give your students feedback. If they made a mistake on an exam, that needs to be addressed. Don't wait an entire month after the exam to talk with them about it. Share your feedback with students as soon as possible, while their work is still fresh in their minds. Rob Drapkin, Vice President of Marketing at ACT, Assessment Technologies Company, OpenEd, makes an excellent point about children and their affinity to playing video games. He says that when children play video games, they are receiving instant feedback on their performance in the game until they meet the desired objective. This is part of what makes kids want to continue playing video games. They fully understand where they went wrong, and because of the feedback they receive, they know how to fix things for the future. This is the type of motivation that instant feedback can give to children in the classroom too. But the most important thing is that data sharing must become a part of the classroom culture, and not just a sporadic event. Students should be constantly collecting and analyzing data so that it can be fully integrated into their learning journeys. Constantly sharing data with students may seem like a challenging task, but there are plenty of digital tools that can help you facilitate the flow of data from you to your students. For instance, when it comes to digital tests and quizzes, students can immediately be informed of their score. With tools like JotForm, ClassMaker, and Easy Test Maker, you are able to see how well your students did and their scores can immediately be sent to them. This data will also help you to see where the students are struggling with the material, so that maybe some changes can be made to the lesson plan in the future. Let's say you aren't assigning a test or a quiz, but maybe an essay or a presentation. This is where a platform like Google Docs may come in handy because you can make comments and give students real-time feedback on their document. This will help students to create a better final product and they can learn as they are completing the assignment. Usually, when teachers bring home assignments to grade, there is a big delay between when the assignment was handed in and when the student receives feedback. While the assignment is being graded, students forget about the information and sometimes they forget what they did for the assignment entirely. This is why these digital tools are helpful. Students can receive feedback while it is relevant to their learning. Showing students their data is not very helpful if they don't know what the data actually means. You should not only share data with your students, you should also teach them how to interpret the information. There are several progress monitoring options that you can show your students how to use. Graphs and charts allow students to visualize trends within their performance over time. Checklists show students exactly what they have mastered and what they are still working toward. A checklist can also serve as a reminder to students of key concepts that they have learned throughout the year. 
You can also utilize reflective activities. As your students reflect, they will have to think critically about their data and analyze their own learning. Things like rubrics, videos, and blog posts can help students reflect on what they've learned. You can house all of your students' data in individual data notebooks. These are great for monitoring students' progress. Every student has their data neatly organized in one place, making it easier for them to track what they're learning and control their educational journey. When students are well informed on what they know and what needs to work, they now have the knowledge needed to make improvements. So let's review. If you are going to utilize student data, there are a few things that you should keep in mind. Remember that an informed student is an enlightened student. When students are left in the dark, they can't improve upon themselves. So the sooner your students receive feedback, the more effective it will be. There are also many digital tools that can help facilitate the flow of data, but make sure that you teach students how to interpret the data, otherwise it won't be very helpful to them. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Raid here with Jotform. Have a good one.